All right guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna derive the three power formulas that we're gonna often find in circuit problems, and they are P equals VI, P equals V squared over R, and P equals I squared R. And a fourth power formula that you're often gonna see is just let P total is just equal to the sum of all of the individual powers throughout the circuit, which is going to apply to both series and parallel circuits or a combination of both. So um, to get started with the first three power formulas and how we get them, well, power is just equal to energy divided by time or work divided by time. And if we write that in terms of its units only, the units of power are watts and the units of energy or work is joules uh, and the units of time we're gonna be using seconds. Now joules here, they are equal to coulombs times volts or one joule is equal to one coulomb times one volt. So we can rewrite this expression where work, instead of writing joules on the top, we're gonna write coulombs times volts over seconds. But if we circle this part here, which is coulombs divided by seconds, that is also the units of amps. An amp is a coulomb per second. So we can rewrite our equation again as watts is now equal to amps times volts. And we can rewrite that instead of terms of the units, we can write it as the names. So we're just going to have this is all just going to be the same thing as power is equal to times the voltage times the current, P equals VI. You might also see this written as power equals VA. Uh, that's just referring to volts times amps. Depends where you are, someone might write it in either way. But that is how we get the first of the three formulas. Now we know from Ohm's law that V here is equal to IR, voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. So all we need to do is substitute that in. Let's do it over here on the left side. So P is going to be equal to that V, which is just IR times I, which was the second variable in that expression. And we can rewrite this just as power is equal to I squared R. So that is just exactly how you get the second formula of our three. I guess I wrote it up here as the third, but you get the idea. And um, what we can do is we can come back to the original one, P equals VI, and we'll just take a look here at our expression for I. Well, if we just rearrange Ohm's law here, we see that I is just equal to V over R. So again, we're just gonna substitute that into this formula. So let's just do it down here in the bottom middle. So we have P is equal to the first variable times what we're substituting for the second variable, which is going to be V over R. And uh, this can just be rearranged. So we get power is equal to V squared over R. And there you go. That is just the last or the third of the power formulas. And additionally, if you want a fourth bonus one, uh, we got this one over here, which I said applies to parallel or series or series parallel combination circuits. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, I usually just tend to memorize this one here, P equals VI. And from that, you can always use Ohm's law just to go to the other two. Or if you wanna go all the way back, you can remember all of this stuff, but uh, maybe that's more work than it's worth. All right, that's all for this video and join me in the next one and we'll go over probably an example determining the power consumed in a series circuit.